Clip not. Clip. <laughs> oh. To discuss clips. Clip not. Clip. So look at that leader. That is crinkled up. Whilst I'm out in the shed, putting my wonderful boat back together after the recent tournament with Jeff on Wonga, part one of the jobs that needs to be done. Put a trolley motor back on the boat. Part two, reinstall batteries. <laughs> Same deal. Obviously fix up all the tackle sounders. I thought now would be a great time to discuss clips. Out of this whole combo, rod, reel, line, leader, finally lure. The last thing or the least thought about thing, the least thought about part of this combo is that little bit, the clip. Why use it? I guess the simple answer is convenience. It's very convenient to just unclip a lure and clip a new lure on. Because when you're barramundi fishing, it's not that you can catch a fish on a lure if they damage the lure and unclip it and, and put a new lure back on because barramundi destroy your line. They don't always destroy your line, but 90% of the time they damage your line and you need to retie. So a clip doesn't help you in that regard at all. So where I find a clip convenient for me anyway is is changing colors of lures during either practice or when you're trying to work out a bite or even sometimes changing styles of lures if you're if, say you don't have a lot of rods and you think well there's three or four lures i want to try you can just have one or two rods rigged up with clips you can unclip your lure you can change it and go from there so one of the other main benefits for me running a clip is that your line allows your lure to swim so much freer. Yes, you can do this with a loop knot, but I've found that the uni is so much stronger than a loop knot, and I'll prove it to you. So almost religiously run 60 pound FC100 now for Barra. So we have to do the test for the leader I'm gonna use. Two lures. I took all the hooks off because I don't hook myself during this test. Now put a clip on one, and I'm going to tie a lip knot on the other. Uni knot to clip. So I've tied that upside down. So if I was fishing, I'd swap that. But see how the tag hits my bib? That would definitely affect the action. But for this test, that's fine. Nice, clean loop knot. Now for the nasty part. I've already done this once before. And I know it hurts when this line breaks and gets your hand, but clip, uni knot, lefties, loop knot. Straight pull, very hard to get it to break. 60 pound leader, none, no knots are moving. So, Ooh. okay, so try a straight pull. If I can't do it, I'm gonna have to bounce it. Loop knot, clip. Oh, loop knot, clip. Try the straight pull. Oh, 60 pound. Oh, loop knot, clip. Oh, I'm not sure how much attention you've been paying with where this line breaks. We'll get back to that in a minute, but that's actually a little bit concerning. Clip knot, clip. The clip isn't what's failing. That's what this test is all about. Not my knots, <laughs> even if they aren't working. So look at that leader. That is crinkled up. Broken on the loop. And clip still safe so 60 pound so I understand it's a lot more dramatic when you're fighting environment than it is with me straight line pulling or 
bouncing line to undo a clip. But as you can see, running 60 pound line, 60 pound leader, and 30 pound braid, the clip isn't the weakest point. Okay, last time. Loop, clip. So, this part of my uni knot, the clip is still fine, still closed. It's a 60 pound line, 60 pound leader, we'll fire first. So let's do one last test. Let's test the clip against the standard hook that I run on the back of the screw, for example. So it's an SD56 and a, I think it's size three or four ring. Whatever I upgrade to, we'll put that on. See which files first. New hook and ring, but I took this one off so that I don't wear it when something here fails. So to be fair, the strongest part of the hook is obviously in there. So I'm going to sit this in there so there's not going to be any possibility that the hook is going to fail. So let's just try this hook test one more time. I'll try and, try and slow it down again. The knot, again, not the clip, not the hook, not the ring. This is the result of trying to straighten that hook. So as you can see, it's a little bit deformed, or well, it's almost closed, but it still is not going to come undone. I have to be honest, I was a little bit worried about wearing that a little bit. <laughs> but knot failed before the clip, before the hook and before the rings. Nothing wrong with hook, fine. Rings, fine. Clip, fine. Knot, not so good. <laughs> so use my knot tightening tool then to be able to hold that line because I did not want to cop that hook. <laughs> so as ugly as that knot now looks and has a little crease in it, my loop knot, actually not as weak as I thought, so maybe I don't even need clips anymore, but it is convenient. Fire to snap, size 2, 110 pound, can confirm, it can be relied upon. So out of my whole combination now, I'm fairly confident that my weakest point is my leader knot, which Looks like I'm after work on, to be honest. <laughs> I really, really did not trust that lefty's loop knot, especially over a uni. And it beat it several times. I'd be interested to test it if lower breaking strains are the same, because the knot actually feels pretty warm. So maybe the, the way that the uni pulls on there when you slowly crank it, that it heats up and breaks. In summary, with all the little bits of broken line and stuff going on, pretty sure it's safe to trust the old fighter snap. So if you want to run a clip, go for it. And now, I have a whole bunch of work to do to put this mess back together so it's some form of fishable state because it's already getting on this week. And I'm off to Carlyde. In a couple of days, I so much work to do, so time to get after it, get this stuff sorted. Well guys, thanks for tuning in. Hope you enjoyed the video as much as I enjoyed making it. If you want to find out what I'm up to on a day-to-day -day basis, just jump on any one of my other social media pages. Don't forget to subscribe. I'm constantly putting up a couple of videos a week now to keep you guys entertained. Otherwise, this has been Dean Sylvester, fishing my way.